I've been noticing recently that it's getting a lot easier for me to say no. This is, of course, a result of healing. And also me bringing my awareness and energy back to myself and into my body. When somebody has a hard time saying no, you know, they have anxiety around no, it's usually because they're not certain about themselves. They're, they're, they're not... They're not confident in what it is that they are going after. That's just the reality of it. And the more I bring my awareness and energy back to myself, the more I feel confident in what it is that I need. And there's no confusion there. And the interesting thing, too, is that when you say no and you mean it and you don't turn back on that, there's a lot of respect that comes with that. When people know that you are rigid in your approach to no, in your approach to your boundaries, in your approach to what is important to you, there's respect there. I know that this whole thing of being rigid kind of has like a bad rep, right? That's just the reality of it. Um, but what's interesting is that in terms of your boundaries, in terms of the boundaries of the self, being rigid is actually very often a good thing because it means that you know you, it means that you know what it is that you want and need, right? And your capacity to say no, it ends with a period. And there are no if ands, or buts. So the interesting thing here that I've noticed is that whenever I do say no, sometimes I start to get a little bit like, like, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, you know, like, like, wait a second, wait a second. But then I'm at the same time, I'm like, no, I know what Chris needs. And I'm not willing to settle on that. And the more I do that, the more confident I get in that. That's what it's all about. Being able to say no with confidence and having no anxiety around it. Because no is a boundary. No is what it is that you are comfortable with and what it is that you are not comfortable with, right? And being able to set that boundary and not pick it back up with uncertainty that you may have made a wrong, a, a, um, not the best decision for yourself. That's what this is all about. Um, being able to say no, it gets easier when you bring your awareness and energy back to yourself and you're not trying to appease or you know you're not trying to get somebody to like you it's not about getting anybody to like you it's about doing what you need to do for yourself and being confident in that people that have anxiety around no are not sure about the no that they are saying right they're like they're like oh, uh no <laughs> and Instead, when you get to no, that's the difference, right? One of them has anxiety around it. The other one is confident. The other one does not care how the other person will see you, right? The other one does not care about that. All that that cares about is that the, you know, the, the, the no is from a place of confidence. It's from a place of knowing. It's from a place of trust, right? Trust in the self. And it's just about knowing. That's what it's, that's what it's really about. When you, when you say no and you mean it, it is felt. And if it's not respected, then the person that is saying no walks away, period. And that's the end of the situation. Um, this is what boundaries are. And I would argue that a far majority of people in the world do not have boundaries. Um, they try to force things, they try to pry, right? Um, and then it all just gets permeable and then boundaryless altogether. And it's just a shit show. That's just the reality of it. So learning to say no, all the while having confidence around your no and not having any, any anxiety because boundaries are about confidence. When you think about it, boundaries are about confidence. Boundaries stem from self-awareness. Boundary, in my, in my opinion at least, and in my experiences, boundaries stem from self-aware. You, you need to know yourself in order to be boundaried. You do. 
You need to know who you are. You need to have a developed sense of self. Um, but yeah, for me personally, when it comes to like saying no and everything, um, more and more I'm starting to have confidence around it. And the anxiety is because the only time that a person will have anxiety around no is when they don't really know themselves, right? And not only when they don't really know themselves, but when they have externalized their sense of self, when their awareness and energy is plugged into other people instead of into themselves and their body and being aware of what it is that they're feeling. Your intuition is always speaking to you. It's always telling you what to do. It's only when you don't listen to it because you think that you need to be permeable or boundaryless around this person or that person or those people and your body will tell you your body's telling you exactly what it is that you need to know when you don't listen to it that's when things get messed up 